Thank you for having us. Um, my name is Michael. I'm the PR manager at Area Games. Oh, and I'm Matthias. I'm the director of product management at Area Games. <laughs> Area Games is a free-to-play publisher. Um, we are from Area Games Europe, which is based in Berlin. Um, the, our parent company is based in California. So we're here representing the Berlin office. Uh, we are a free-to-play publisher of uh, client games, browser games, and mobile games. And uh, especially the mobile game market is uh, mobile game develop division is growing a lot. Uh, we go looking for games all the time. Usually most of our developers come from the Taiwanese or the Korean market. So we look at their games, see how they perform on the market, look at their KPIs, like the, the, uh, the numbers, and then we see like with our experience what we have. If this is something interesting for the Western markets, maybe North America, even Latin America or e Europe, which is like the specialty of the Berlin office, saying it's like uh, France or Germany, Italy, Poland, Turkey, it's all territories where we're in. So we first look at uh, the games in, um, in the Asian countries and then we decide if this is something interesting we're going to do for the Western territories. Um, yes, yeah, Scarlet Blade is um, our newest game. It's been released in English and in German, and it's going to be coming in French too. It's a free to play sci fi MMO um, featuring a lot of uh, mech transformation and very good PvP action. Um, yeah, we're very excited about it. Um, it's been very well received in the community so far. Um, yeah. To be honest, uh, there has been there has been a little bit, but um, we see that kind of as positive um, that there's been a lot of interest in the game. Um, it's really not meant to be taken so seriously, and uh, that's what we're ki that's the kind of message that we're always trying to get across. Um, generally, there has been a little bit of people saying that it's slightly sexist, but it's really just a stylistic thing. Um, and actually just you know take a look at it there's a lot more to it it's not just about the girls uh, that's what it looks like on the surface but when you actually sit and play play it for a few hours you actually realize that it's it's actually there's a lot more to it the PvP action is very good it's a very deep and very involved game mm -hmm. yes um, the game is was developed in Korea and uh, recently the Korean version has now also brought out a male class uh, and that is something that we at Area Games are also looking into. Um, the English version is starting to prepare it now and it will be coming to the German and French versions as well. Well, it's usually something as uh, area games. We're not only the publisher saying that we have like the, the games here and take care of it in the offices. We also do something what we call the channeling. We have, for example, the Ignite platform, which is something like a free-to-play platform, uh, which is kind of a little bit like Steam, but only for free-to-play games. Where we also have partners who can distribute their games there. And uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic was one of the deals we had there. So uh, it's kind of integrated, but it's only a channeling game. So area games is not directly taking care of it, but we also promote it to our users. Um, well, about two weeks ago we announced that we are releasing a new um, anime manga style game um, called Aura Kingdom. It's going to be released in English and French at the same time. Um, so keep an eye out for that. We'll be releasing that before the end of the year. Um, and also keep a lookout for our mobile titles. At the moment we've got th uh, three different mobile games, but there are definitely a lot more coming for iPhone and Android. Fear Online? Fear Online is another big one and that's <laughs> coming out in English soon too. <laughs> uh, and that is obviously a big franchise and we're very excited about that. Yeah.